Praise the Lord, everybody. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Sanctuary Christian Center. I'm Pastor Sam, so delighted to have you here with us this morning. So glad to be in the presence of the Lord. As I came into the place this morning, I just began to give him praise, began to give him honor, began to lift up his name, walked through the house of God, and began to pray and to glorify his name. And so what I want to do this morning, I want to take the time and share with you in prayer before we proceed in service this morning. Father God, in the name of Jesus, how we bless your name, how we honor you and lift you up, God. You're so wonderful, so worthy of the praise, glory, and the honor. Bless us this morning. Be with us, the people of God. Oh God, let the anointing of the Lord lead throughout the entire service, that the souls of God may be blessed this morning from the hearing of the word of the Lord, from a song that is sung, God, hallelujah. Oh, have the people wave their hands. If I can't say a word, then I'll just wave my hand unto the Father. Lift up our voices toward heaven to give you glory and honor, God. Let there be a fresh wind that moves through this place, God. In the blessed name of Jesus, we pray. We honor you this morning. We thank you for your presence. Ooh, we thank you for your power. We thank you for the Holy Ghost, the moving of the Holy Ghost. And most of all, God, we thank you for victory. We declare victory in the name of Jesus this morning. Amen.
Jesus. Hallelujah. And he deserves our praise. Yes. He deserves Lord. our worship. Yeah. Bless Hallelujah. him. Bless he him. He deserves for you to open up your Thank mouth you, and give Jesus. him some glory in this place. Yeah. Bless because he Jesus. is good. Yes, he, he is. He is faithful. Hallelujah. He is kind. Yeah. He's Hallelujah. merciful. And his mercy endures Do forever. forever. Hallelujah to all generations. Yes, Lord. You're not doing it. You're not breathing by yourself. Bless it your is he that is made up. Yes, it is. And not we ourselves. Yes, it we is. love you, oh God. We love I you, Lord. Bless Yeah. Sure. 
hail to the King. Thank you, Lord. Yes, the Lord, Lord of Jesus. Lords. He is our God. Yes, he, is. he is wonderful. Yes, Lord. He is our Savior. He is our Lord. He is our deliverer. Hallelujah. hallelujah. The words we sing, hallelujah. Bless hallelujah. We Bless just sing, Bless hallelujah. Hail to the King. Oh, God. Hallelujah. The King of Kings. We Bless will conquer. Jesus. Hallelujah. In his name. And proclaim that he reigns. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, we bless you on today. Yes, Hallelujah. God. We can't get enough of blessing the Lord. Uh, the more we bless, bless him, you, the more we have to bless him. Amen. The more Amen. I think Hallelujah. of what he's done for me. Yes. Hallelujah. And all that he's done. Yes. Oh, and how he's done it. My soul cries yes. out. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus, holy 
Heavenly Father, precious King, marvelous, glorious Father, Woo, I worship you. God, we worship you in the beauty of holiness and we glorify your name because you're just so worthy and so sovereign. God, we give you glory. God, we give you glory in this place. We magnify your name, sweet Jesus, sweet Holy Father. We lift you up and glorify the name of Jesus. Oh, we give you glory and honor. And we bless your name, God. We bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 We give you glory in this place, Jesus. Hallelujah. And we magnify your name. People of God, you must say something to the Father. Uh, you got to honor him in your own way. We lift him up. Uh, we give him glory and honor because he's a good God. It is because of God that we're able to stand here today. It is because of God that I'm able to open up my mouth, have the activity of my limbs, have vision, clarity. My senses are operable. I'm just so grateful to God for all things, not just some things, just for everything because our Father is in control. It is first Sunday, and every first Sunday we give tribute to the Father by partaking in the sacraments. So we're going to start our first thing before we actually uh, go right into the heart of the service, the preach word of God, and we're going to give him glory as we honor him in communion this morning. We ask that those that are with us on Facebook Live, prepare yourselves. I said it at the uh, opening of the service that we would go into communion to give you an opportunity to uh, prepare in your home that you can partake with us this morning. But first of all, I want to take the time out and read the word of God out of 1 Corinthians the 11th chapter, verse 23 through 30. Once again, this is the word of God for the people of God out of 1 Corinthians 11, verse 23 through 30. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Eat, take, eat. This is my body which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. Yeah. But let a man examine himself. And so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. God, we bless you. We're just so grateful to be partakers, to say yes to the will of God. Bless us as we partake today, God. Remove all the sin from us, God. Help us to stand before you and ask for forgiveness and not turn to that idol, that situation again. Ooh, hallelujah. Your strength shall keep us, God, when we can't keep ourselves. We're thanking you for the leading. And most of all, God, we thank you for having a wonderful, loving heart to forgive us of our sins and to wipe the slate clean this morning as we prepare to partake of what you have assigned for us to do as often as we do, we do this in remembrance of you in Jesus' name. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. Stand everybody with me. I know it was the blood for me. One day when I was lost, he died upon the cross. Come on, everybody. I know it. Come this way and go around. For me, I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood for me. One day when I was lost, he died upon the cross. And I know it was the blood for me. His blood came streaming down. His blood came streaming down. His blood 
blood came streaming down for me. One day when I was lost, he died upon the cross, and I knew it was the blood for me. Oh God, as we lift, hallelujah, this way for representation of the bread. We thank you for all that you decided to do for us. Oh, God, coming on our behalf, Father, oh, taking on the sins of the past, the present, and the future. Nobody like our God. So we do this, God. We lift this up, God, and we partake in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we partake. Hallelujah. This is representation of your blood. Mm. Without the shedding of your blood, there would be no remission of sins, God. Woo, thank you for the power in the blood. Wonder-working power in the blood. Thank you, God, for the power in the blood. Thank you for the shedding of your blood for me. Make it personal, everybody. Thank you for the shedding of your blood for me. Just for me, God. And we thank you for just being our God, our Father, our Lord, our Redeemer. We lift up this cup and we partake in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. One more time, there is. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood. Of the land, there is power, power, wonder working power in the precious blood of the land. Oh, we salute you, Jesus. Oh, we salute you, Jesus. Oh, we salute you, Father. Oh, there is power in the blood of the land. Oh, we bless your name this morning. We give him glory. We give him glory. Remain standing as we read God's word this morning, found in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, verse 1 through 6. Pin it there and then go to Luke 11, verse 28. Once again, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verses 1 through 6. Then Luke in the New Testament, verse 28. This is the word of God for the people of God. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all the nations. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Blessed shalt thou be in the city, and blessed shalt thou be in the field. Blessed shall thou be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of thy kind, the flocks of thy sheep. Blessed shall be thy basket and thy store. Blessed shall be thou when thou comest in, and blessed shall thou be when thou goest out. Woo, bless you, Jesus. Luke 20, 11 and 28. But he said, Yea, rather blessed are they that hear, the word of God, and keep it. Let me read it one more time. But he said, That's what he said. Yea, rather, yes. blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it. Bless this word today, God. I pray that the word would permeate the hearts of the hearers and transform us to be the kingdom builders that you called us to be, God. Oh, the blessings of the Lord make it rich and added no sorrow. Thank you for the abundance of blessings today, God. Thank you, God, for, for, for who you are. Thank you, God, for the livelihood we have in you, God. Thank you for the precious gifts that we get because of you and who you are, Father. We honor you today and we lift you up because...
because you are a good God yes. and so worthy of the praise, so worthy of the glory, so worthy of the honor. We lift up your name and glorify you. Bless this word today, God. Bless this word today, God, that it may transform our minds, Jesus, today. Don't let us leave the service the same way we Hallelujah. For your glory and for your honor, in Jesus' name we pray. Let the church say amen. amen. Hallelujah. 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 Uh, the, the title of the message today is Obedience in God Always Bring Blessings. Obedience in God always brings blessings. Uh, now, I define blessings in this way. It's an expression of God's goodness and love toward us. Uh, answered prayers. Did he answer anybody's prayers this week? Hallelujah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Miraculous provisions. Yes, yes. Unexpected yes. favor. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, just, just a few examples. You, and so we easily recognize God's gifts when he's giving to us yes. all the time. He grants us his strength. He gives us joy. The love that he has given us and died on the cross for us. Uh, the peace of God that he's given us. Happiness down in my soul. The grace the, that God has given us like no one else could give us. God gives us grace and we're so undeserving of it. New mercies that he said because I'll wipe the slate clean from yesterday and give you brand new mercies tomorrow. Yeah. Brand new mercies today. A mercies upon mercies. Long suffering. The faith that I have is not that I have in me. The faith that I have is the faith that I have in Jesus. The long suffering that he gives us. The forgiveness that God Thank has you. granted Thank toward you. us. Nobody but God yeah. could do what has been done in our lives. Yeah. Nobody but God. Oh, God, and, and, and he does this in the midst of the hardship. Right while you're going through, he says, I'll give you peace that will pass your understanding. It would go beyond your understanding because yours is not infinite. It's finite. Oh, my God. It's not, you, 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 you're at a, a certain position that you can't exceed any beyond, beyond where you're at right now. So it takes me to take you to a place in me like never before. No one else. There's a hiding place in yes, God yes. like never before. He tells us, he says, so what I do this for, I use your hardships and your sufferings to help you mature spiritually. But you're so busy crying, you can't see God because you're too busy wallowing in your tears. Ooh. Ooh, my God, I want you to see me. So I want you to think today and you say to yourself, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. It's coming, it's coming. Is anybody bold enough to go across the aisles and tell somebody else, oh, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. What's coming? My blessings are coming. And so I'm telling you right now, my blessings are coming. I'm speaking to my, my blessings are coming. So I turn over and I tell my turn, my blessings are coming. Then I, I come over to the next aisle and I say, my blessings are coming. So I'm bold enough to tell you that my blessings, not are all coming, some have already arrived. What about you? What about you? Where are you at? How are you possession? Are you bold enough to stand up and tell anybody? I didn't see anybody move in the place. Uh -huh. Not one soul, but I'm getting up and telling you, my blessings are coming. Amen. Ooh, my blessings have already arrived. Come on, mother. Uh, come on, come on. Somebody get up and tell somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My blessings are coming. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I, I, I come today to give you a word from the Lord to encourage you that your blessings are on the way. Ooh, I want to encourage the church today because somebody needs to be built up. Somebody needs to feel the strength of God. Ooh, I'm excited about his blessings and his miracles. I don't know about you. I'm excited about the blessings of the Lord and his miracles. And so I want to go through three areas this morning. Uh, you must give up. You must get up. You must grow up. Ooh, come on now. You must give up. You must get up. You must grow up. Let's talk about biblical examples that you must give up. When I think about giving up, I thought about Noah giving up his will and his thoughts and walking in the ability and the obedience of God. Did he not? 
He saved his family from the flood by giving up. Sometimes you just got to give up. Give up in God. Abraham, his obedience to the Lord resulted in him becoming the father of a great nation. God's chosen people from just giving up himself. Moses would tell the Lord as he was called, I don't have this ability. I don't have this power. I can't do this, my God. But then he, he said, but, but God, you said it, so I'm going to walk in it. God, you said it, so I'm just going to lay back and be obedient in it. And I'm going to trust you like never before. And I'm just going to go head on. And I'm going to walk in this. And the Egyptians were set free from their bondage. Did he not give up? He got to give up. He says, my dialect isn't where it should be. And so sometimes I may not pronounce something properly. And years, times, and uh, times ago, uh, years ago, I would preach in the prisons and the guys would get up and walk out. Elder Ash, they walked out. But you know what I did? I kept right on preaching. You know what I did? When I went back the next week, I studied my word a little bit more. I got down a little bit deeper. Because you don't give up on God because he don't give up on you. Now, you may look upon me and you may frown because I didn't say something in a particular way. But God is excited about me standing up and doing it. Because mm. God don't look at me the way you do. Yeah. And when I say something improper, I am not embarrassed any longer. Because mm. I got God's strength now and not my own. Mm. Years ago, I would be so ashamed. I go home, I, I'm driving home, I say, God, did I say that? God, did I do that? God says, you did that because you're not perfect. Mm. And it's okay, but, but, but you stood up and you gave me glory. Right. That's more than enough right there. Right. And so we, we, we think we got to be... Done all the eyes, caught all the T's. No, you don't for the Lord. You got to show up sometimes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And when you show up, you give up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here we have Joshua, who won the battle of Jericho by following God's supernatural strategy. Yes. Oh, he didn't rely on himself. He relied on God. Yes. David refused to harm Saul. David said, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Not at all. David, he said to his men, the Lord forbid that I should do such a thing to my master, the Lord's anointed. He recognized, he said, or oh, lift my hand against him, for he is the anointed of the Lord. So I rebuke you, man. Oh, we won't touch God's anointed. Uh, and sometimes we just put our mouths on everything. I'm saying it, I'm saying it, I'm saying it. We put our mouths on that fallen preacher. Yes, he has fallen. But God has given him a gift to carry his word. My Lord, that he has fallen by the wayside, and what we should do is pray like never before. Yeah, oh, trust God. Peter obeyed Jesus. He a commandment to fish in the heat of the day. Do you know how hot it was to get out there and fish? Mm -hmm. Do you know how hot it was the last couple of weeks in 190, some 98, 99 degree weather? My God, but we still got to go, and we still ought to come to service. We still got to witness. My God, when you go in the grocery store, while you're in the air conditioning, you can witness. God gives us opportunity upon opportunity to walk in his word. Here we have Paul. Paul followed God's will and took the gospel to the Gentiles. Wow. He gave up. He gave up his name from Saul and changed it to Paul. And walked in the, the, the right way of the Lord, our God. You got to give up you so that you can hear God. Jehoshaphat relied upon God's word when he encountered the Moabites and the Ammonites and the Minyanites. Uh -huh. These forces were joined together to come against Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat said, oh no, Jehoshaphat was shaken. And so there are some moments that we are fearful. Mm-hmm. We ought to be honest about where we're at, but God hears us even in the field while we're praying. Mm -hmm. He hears us right while we're at that moment. Jehoshaphat was feared, and you know what he did? Even in the being shaken, he said, I'm going to pray. He prayed. He didn't only pray. He called the nation to a nationwide fast. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, people. Let's fast together. He began to say to God, he says, you are the God of my ancestors. Mm -hmm. You, are you not God in heaven above? And the ruler of all kingdoms below? Mm -hmm. You hold all power and might in your fist. No one stands a chance against you. I'm calling on the name of Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about you? Because yeah. yeah. God's got all power yes, in his hands. Yeah. He began to say to the Lord, we're helpless with 
without you. Yes, Lord. We can't do anything without you, God. Uh huh. Everybody was present. He called the nation. He called the husbands, the wives, the, 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 the adolescents, the babies, the, the newborn babies. Everybody was assembled together for the fasting and the praying in the nation. While they were trusting in the power of God. We got to come together and believe God. That God is God all by himself. Yes, he is. Woo! Then Jehaziel had a, had, was moved by the spirit of God. And he began to speak to the congregation. He began to say don't be afraid. Don't pay any mind to the enemy that's coming. Oh my God. This is God's war. On, not yours. And so I speak to the church today. You got to give up because this is God's war. Yes. Whatever's going on in your life, it's not yours. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh -huh. He says, we got to relinquish what we got. And so what did Jehoshaphat do? He says, we're going to go together. We're going to go to the location because they may already be there. Then he called the church together and they began to sing. He says, I call you together to worship God. They broke out in praise and worship. This is what happened in the, the he says, and, and God says, I'm not going to have you do anything, but trust me. Yes, trust. They went off in worship and praise, and the Ammonites and the Moabites began to war against each other. Mm -hmm. When they got to the final location, yes, the enemy was already dead. Mm -hmm. You got to give up, church. You got to give up and let God take control. You gotta trust him like never before. Yes. He gives us all kinds of blessings, God does. Yes. Every commandment that we receive is from the Heavenly Father. He's, but it's accompanied with blessings even when it's painful. Because mm -hmm. many things that we go through are great challenges for us. God says, I want to build you up to let you know what you're made of, because see, you really don't know. Ah, I want to build you up so that not only that you begin to know who you are, that you begin to understand this gift that I've given you is not just in this life, it's eternal. Mm -hmm. And so I'm preparing you for where I want to take you to. Mm -hmm. I've given you freedom already. Mm -hmm. So if the sun sets you free, you will be free indeed. Yeah. I'm giving you spiritual growth. The spiritual growth comes with challenges that may be presented to you every single day. Uh huh. But the challenges in the challenges, you got to do something. Mm -hmm. In my challenges now, I begin to do something. I begin to go off in my mind in a praise. Uh huh. I begin to worship God in my challenges. I begin to pray and trust God like never before. What you gonna do when the challenges come? Cause they're not just right here. The challenges are outside this door. What you gonna do when you face those challenges? How are you going to stand in this evil, deceitful world? Mm -hmm. He says, the blessings that I want to give you are in your personal growth as well. I want you to understand the reward that you get for being obedient in me. The reward that I give you. And I give you an opportunity to walk in this greatness of God. Rejoice ye in the day and leap for joy. For behold, your reward is great in heaven. Uh -huh. For in the like manner did then their fathers unto the prophets. He begins to speak to us. Uh, Luke 6 and 23, he tells us. He tells us to endure the trials that we're going through. Don't yeah. give up, church. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. There's no time to give up. Yes. He tells us in James 1 and 12. Blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trials. Mm -hmm. But when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life. That's what he's talking about. He says, and your spiritual blessings, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. You don't get to see them unless you rest in Christ. And so I'm looking beyond the now. Anybody looking with me? I'm looking beyond the now. Uh, what you're doing, God, in my present state, oh, can I compare what you're going to do in my future state? Nobody like my God. Absolutely. Nobody like my God. Woo! You got to trust him even while you're going through. I say to the church today, don't give up. Number two. You must get up. Mm -hmm. 
Many times we're just too lazy, huh? What is it in this church on, on first Saturdays? The women are crying out for the Lord. My God, you got to get up and get in the service. You got to get up and get it. You got to understand what, what is happening in this obedient walk that I'm in. Sometimes it's going to take me to tell this body to move. Yes. Because this body don't want to move sometimes. Yes. Oh, come on. As we get older. Lord, can I sleep for five more minutes? I tell my children, those five minutes are critical. Mm -hmm. Don't lay back five minutes. When you lay back five minutes, hear me, young folk, you lay back ten. Yes. When you lay back ten, you lay back fifteen. Mm -hmm. When you lay back fifteen, you lay back thirty. And then you're late for your assignment on your job. And you just may miss the job just for being five minutes late. When you already had a 30 minute jump. Mm -hmm. But you took it for granted the way you take life for granted. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You must get up. Get up. Yes. You got to get, get up in order to proceed in God. You got to get up, get up, get up. Sometimes what God requires of us will initially leave pain, lead to pain and sadness. Now, God, why is that? Because God knows what's best for us. Now, God, I'm going through. And you know what I'm saying to God? Have I not gone through enough? And he says, not yet, son. Mm -hmm. What if he talked to you like that? Not yet, I. <laughs> not yet, Chris. Not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. Let's look, let, let's look at Moses. Moses did follow God's commandment to lead the people out of out of Egypt, and he would say, but I don't have this experience, because many times we say that. I don't have any experience, God, from leading these Israelites out of bondage. I don't have any experience at all, God. God, I had no experience of being a pastor at all. He said, but let me lead you, and all I told you to do was to follow me. I didn't ask you what you had. I just told you to lead me. That's what I told you. My God. Then, then, then as the people, as he led the people out, then the people are complaining consistently all the time. How do you have a group of people that's already been delivered out of bondage and they're still crying out? Mm. Nothing satisfies them. Absolutely nothing. Nothing satisfies them. How can that be? Jesus. Everything is wrong. Mm. Not enough of this. Too much of that. Can you give me a little bit more? And God has already blessed you. Woo, Jesus, hallelujah. But I want a little bit more of this, and I want a little bit more of that. Of the challenges that awaited him were amazing. But this is what how God blessed me. In Exodus 7, 3 and 4, he says, But I will harden Pharaoh's heart. And though I multiply my miraculous signs and wonders in Egypt, he will not listen to you. Hallelujah. I got Pharaoh on assignment in your life. Jesus. Any Pharaohs in your life? Lord. Any Pharaohs in your life? Oh, God says, I got Pharaoh on assignment in your life. I did that. Mm. I did that. Then I will lay my hand on Egypt. And with mighty acts of judgment, I will bring out my people, the Israelites. Woo! God said, I did that. Then he turns, come on and go with me in the New Testament. In Romans uh, 9, 17 and 18, he says, I raised you up for this very purpose, that I might display my power in you. Mm. Let's stop right there. I want to display my power in you because you're walking around talking about how weak you are and what you cannot do. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And that my name might be proclaimed in all the earth. Are we still talking about what God did? Are we not talking about what God did? How he opened up the Red Sea? How he helped them and moved them out? Uh -huh. Took them over into the promised land? God did that. He says, I'm going to use him up because his heart was already hardened. Let it stay that way because he don't want to change. And a lot of times when you don't want to change, God lets you stay where you're at. You know why? Because you've chosen that position. That's the position you've chosen. And God says, I'm not changing it. That's what you want. That's what you live with. That's what you die with. That's what you burn in hell with. 
That's what you're going to burn up with. Here we have Paul. Paul said, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change this Damascus Road experience. Woo, change my life. Anybody been on Damascus Road? Uh -huh. Have you not had your own experience? I gave my testimony. What about your testimony? Uh huh. Did you not have a testimony that God delivered you? If he didn't deliver you from addiction, if he didn't deliver you from alcohol, he delivered you from yourself. Oh, come on, church. Huh? And don't, you don't have to have any particular addiction. You just you. And you too much for you. Huh? You don't have to have an addiction. Not at all. Huh? And so Paul says, I obey my God by preaching the gospel. Uh -huh. You must get up. He got up from Damascus Road. Somebody else led him. And, and what, what was it? Ananias and Ananias said to God, what am I doing that he's the persecutor of the Christians? God says, but I'll use him. You just do what I say. I didn't ask you anything. God didn't ask you anything. He didn't ask you about where you're going tomorrow. He didn't ask me about being in this position. He told me what to do. Come on now. Our God is all powerful. Yeah, yeah. So Paul, whose name once was Saul, was changed by the power of God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. He couldn't remain as Saul because the people would have still seen him like that. And so his name had to change. He went back on his father's lineage. He took on, on, on the name of Paul that way. He, he walked that way because he had to, they had to see him differently. And sometimes something has to be different about you yeah. for people to receive you. Because some folk are so ignorant and they're not walking in the spirit of God. They only see you where you were at yesterday. Yeah, 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 yeah. They can't see you where you're at today. Mm -hmm. Come on and go with me in the word of God. Yeah. 2 Corinthians 11, 23 through 27. This is what Paul said to the people of God. I'm reading in the HCSB version. Uh, are they servants of Christ? I'm talking like a madman. I'm a better one with far more laborers, many more imprisonments, far worse beatings, near death many times. Five times I received 39 lashes from Jesus. Three times I was beaten with rods by the Romans. Once I was stoned by my enemies. Three times I was shipwrecked. I spent a night and a day in an open sea. On frequent journeys, I faced dangers from rivers, dangers from robbers, dangers from my own people. Come on, Paul. Dangers from the Gentiles. Dangers in the cities. Dangers in the open countries. Dangers on the sea. And dangers among false brothers, false brothers in the gospel. Labors and hardship, many sleepless nights, hunger and thirst. Come on, Paul. Often without food, cold, and lacking nothing but God, but God. I won't give up, I'll give in, God, in the name of Jesus. He proceeded on in the power of God. Now look at his blessings, uh-huh. If Paul had not been in prison, in the times that he had been in prison, he wouldn't have sit still long enough to pen the Gospels. Oh, look at the blessings of the Lord. Uh -huh. He did that. He had to be in prison for that. And while he was in prison, he wrote Colossians. He wrote Philippians. He wrote Ephesians. He wrote Philemon. Uh -huh. Supernatural blessings in the Word of God. While you think that you're in prison in a situation, call on the name of Jesus and watch God work. Oh, you got to open yourself up to the will of God. Your way is not his way. Mm -hmm. I begin to understand what God is doing. Woo! He won't change the situation many times, but he'll change you if you let him. That's right. Woo! Nobody like our God. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Hey, nobody like our God. Absolutely nobody like our God. Nobody, nobody. So Paul began to preach the word of God. For unto us was the gospel preached, as well unto them. But the word preached did not profit them. What is it going to do for you? Not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. Are you just hearing the word? We got to hear it and we got to be doers of it. Or we got to walk in this word like never before. He 
tells us obedience in God always brings blessings. Yes. He's talking to us. He's talking to us. I begin to think of the loss of blessings on the hand of Moses. Now here he is a servant of God. Uh, he goes through. He presents, the, he, he presents to himself the people of God, which are his people. He kills someone else. My God, God begins him and still puts him on assignment. So don't look at those individuals that are in prison today. They may come out and be mighty warriors in God. But he lost some. Because he still didn't walk in the obedience of God. Ooh, you can go so far and still mess up. My God. Oh my God. We got to make sure that we got a listening ear to hear God. Here we have it. Here we have it. He told him, I want you while the people are out and sojourning, I want you to take my staff and, and assemble the congregation. Did he not talk to him like that? Mm -hmm. And assemble the con congregation. You and Aaron and your brother tell the rock before the eyes to yield this water. He says, now I want you to do this along with Aaron by your side and so that he can get to trust you too because Aaron falls off too. Mm -hmm. He told, I said, why would you have him tell Aaron at the same time? Because sometimes that brother needs to be with you to see the miraculous power yeah, of Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's standing there with you, but he's yet believing. He's, you know why he's standing? Because he said, I'm trusting you. I'm trusting you, Pastor. I'm trusting you. No, you're not. I want you to trust in the power of God. I don't want you to tell me you trust in me. I want you to tell me you trust me from the standpoint that you believe that I am trusting God. And I want you to trust me because I have integrity. But don't you put your faith in me. Not at all. I want us to join together to put our faith in God. And so he tells them, now go get Aaron. And y'all stand before the people of God. Because I want them to look upon Aaron at the same time. Because he's your mouthpiece. He's speaking these words that I've given you. And he's declaring my word out amongst the people of God. But here it is, Moses. Moses said, because these people are just so, so, so hard-headed. They, won't, they, they don't hear you. He said, so what he did, he lifted up his rock. He said, because you're just so hard-headed, Father. Now, God knows who the people are because they're his creation. Yes. He took the rod and he struck the stone. Mm -hmm. God said, I told you on assignment. Don't miss your assignment, church. Yeah, yeah. Open up your ears that you may hear God speak. He with an ear, let him hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to the church because God is speaking yes. to the people of God. There is no respect of persons. Yes. Oh. Ooh, but you haven't positioned yourself enough to hear him. God, Woo! in the time of trouble, we can call on the name of Jesus because trouble will come. And so, and so if one could put a thousand to flight, just think of the whole house is praying. Two can put 10,000 in flight. Yeah, 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 oh my God, with 10,000, think of three that's not in the world. We can put 100,000 to flight. Because the power of God is in us. And so we don't panic. We pray. Uh -huh. Church, we don't panic. We pray. Yes, we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We trust in God in the midst of the storm. We don't have time. I can't think about panicking. Uh, right. I'm thinking about who God is. And God, you said in your word. Yes. And the sick shall recover. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I can lay hands on this uh, dog. I can lay hands on this sister. And the sick yes. shall recover. Huh? And God, I'm crying out in the Holy Ghost. Huh? Fix it, Jesus. Fix it. Fix it, Jesus. Fix it. Win, win, win. Right now. Because I'm crying out in my spirit. God, fix it right now. In the name of Jesus. And so what Moses did at that moment, he signed his death certificate. Yes, he did. And God said to him, I'm going to take you to the top of Mount Nebo. I'm going to give you an opportunity to take a glance and look out at what you could have had. And many times, many times we still see what well, we could have had and missed it. Mm. We see it and could get it, but we refuse to walk in God. Mm -hmm. mm. So I want you to look at all the valleys. Me, Lord. Look down in the land of Moab. Uh -huh. 
I want you to look across the land here. Look across Gilead as far as Dan. Look at all the Nephitele. I want you to look at the land of Ephraim. I want you to look at the land of Judah over here. Afar across over to the Mediterranean Sea. I want you to take a glimpse into the promised land that I promised you. Mm -hmm. And this is the land I promised Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And I will give it to your descendants. I have let you see it with your own eyes, but you will not cross into it. Nobody but God. Don't you miss God based on you. That's what he's saying. I need you to get up and to respond to the word of God. Yeah. Who? Don't you miss God and what God has presented to you because God has given you vision and clarity, but because you want to still do you hmm. and you still fail and you have done you one time, <laughs> two times, mm -hmm. three times, mm -hmm. four times, 10 times, maybe 15, and you still fail, and you tried everything else. You went and got you alone here. You asked your brother here, and you fell out with your brother. You're not friends with him no more. You, you went and got another job, and God told you not to work two jobs, but to work one, because now you don't have no time for him at all, and you still fell, and you got all this load of bills on you, and you still trying to do it your way. Jesus. What's going on? What's going on here? What's going on here? Because you refuse to consult him. And all thy ways acknowledge him. And he shall direct thy path. He's speaking to us. He says, so you will not get an opportunity to make it. But I'm going to give you a glimpse of it. That's all I'm going to give you. Number three. I'm almost home, y'all. Y'all with me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You must grow up. You must grow up. What he does, he brings us to the end of ourselves. Okay? Because we, he wants us to be in a place where we completely rely on Jesus. Completely. In this place, we, myself, I completely rely on Jesus. Completely. Completely. I need to make sure that I heard God. And it may take a little while. Because in my mind, I'm saying, hey, God, did you say that? God, I need to see a sign. God, help me in my ignorance, my Father. Speak, speak again, Father, one more time. In the morning prayer, would, would you help me and give me clarity like never before? We must rely on God. We must. He says, I want to bring your purpose, the suffering to a purpose. Because <laughs> we're going to suffer. Uh, but I want to bring it to a purpose. I want to bring it to a perfect self-sufficiency. But that sufficiency is not you. It's the perfection in God that you have that brings you to that place where you're standing now. You're walking by faith and not by sight. I'm sufficient, God. I can handle this, God. But see, you're talking to God and not yourself. I can handle this, God. Because see, you're doing this. You're turning these things over. He says, I want to remove all the idols out of your life. Out of your life. Move them out. Move them out. Uh, and, and, know, and know that all things work together for good. For those that love him, for the call according to his purpose. I want you to understand who I am. I want you to, to deepen your understanding of my ways. Of who I am. He does something, and he, when he does this, he's saying, I require something of you. Notice what Jehoshaphat did. Jehoshaphat called a choir together before they got to the battlefield. Any worshipers in the house? Yeah. You ought to be walking through your home worshiping God, lifting up your hands, giving God glory through the course of the day. Yeah. Oh, I recognize who you are, Father. There's a song in my heart. Oh, he'll do a new thing. God will do a new thing. Woo! In you. Yes, yes. Oh, he'll do a new thing if you declare it. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Do you have a new song in your heart? While you're waiting on God, you got to do something, church. Yeah, yeah. You can't sit idly and ask God for something and you do absolutely nothing. 
Are you praying? Are you reading your word? Have you consecrated yourself? Have you gone on a fast all by yourself? With you and God? Are you trusting him? Oh, God, he'll give you a prophetic word. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. You got to tell yourself. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. My blessing It's coming, it's coming in the name of Jesus. Uh, in the book, uh, by, by, by John MacArthur's book, uh, he makes a statement in there. He, it, the book is a bankrupt nation. He says, can God bless America? <laughs> then he turns around and he says, America wants God's blessings, but not God. And so we want God. We want the more of God. But we don't want God. We'll come to the altar. We'll get down on the altar. And we'll, we'll say, friendly to pray for me. Right on the altar. And then you'll come back next week with the same thing again. Yeah. Nothing wrong with it because you need to come until you get a blessing. But there ought to be a breakthrough in there. You ought to whisper in the prayer leader's ear, yeah, I got a breakthrough. Let's, let's praise God today. I don't need prayer. Let's praise him. There ought to be some time that you come in, that you know that you got your breakthrough yes. in God. Yeah. And you say, now, prayer leader, I want to praise God with you. Can you praise God with me? Because the prayer you pray, the yokes have been destroyed in my home. Yes. Uh, my wayward child has come home. Hallelujah. You saved my brother. Mm -hmm. You healed my sister. You delivered my mother, that crackhead mother. You delivered our God in the name of Jesus. Because I stayed in prayer, trusting you like never before. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. How you trusting him like never before. He says, America wants God's blessing, but not God. Mm -hmm. And so, what happens that our nation has systematically pushed him out. Rejecting biblical morality. Ignoring the word of God. Relying on political and entertainment arenas for moral guidance. Really? 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 I get on the television or I look at these reality sto uh, stories. You got to know that those folk are on their acting foods so that people will buy their products and look at them the more. And they're just racking up. They're going to get businesses. they made their names. Some of them have come off because they've got 10, 15 businesses. And we're still looking at them talking about how foolish they are. They went off. It's scripted half the time anyway. And, and, and going on, and they made themselves millionaires and billionaires. Over being a fool. <laughs> Fools on YouTube. Ah! Look at this folk. <laughs> eating, eating tons of food in front of folk. We watching folk eat, eat trays of food. I looked at someone the other day because I just wanted to see, I wanted to see the numbers. 12,000 people had viewed the video of somebody eating a tray of crab legs. 12,000 views. And I turned and looked at my numbers. <laughs> and I said, God, I'm talking about Jesus. <laughs> and I may have had 20, 25. But I wasn't comparing right. mine to theirs. I'm saying, God, I want the people to get the word. Mm -hmm. And like that foolishness excels, you are greater than that right. foolishness. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the prayer that I pray. Because that's what the enemy wants them to have. And they just continue right on in it, and people just bow right into it. We clip them, we save them, we want to look like them. We want to get a show just like them. We want to act. We want to walk in foolishness. What we say? Rejecting biblical morality. Ignoring God's word. Relying on political and economical arenas for moral guidance, really. Mm -hmm. And so what has happened to our nation, our nation is spiritually bankrupt. Absolutely spiritually bankrupt. By choice. It's by choice, y'all. It's by choice. We 
we got to know that God has provided America with his prescription. And the, and the antidote is the word of God. You got your prescription in the word. The antidote to everything that's going on in our lives is in the word. In the word. There's a rapist in the Bible. There's a murderer in the Bible. There's a liar in the Bible. Uh huh. There's a thief in the Bible. Yeah, 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 speaking to them. God's got everything we need in the word of God. He's telling us. He says, he says, I want people are watching you, church. People are paying attention to us that are getting up every Sunday, going into the house of God. How are you walking in the word? How are you demonstrating yourself out in the world? Are you beacons of light or are you joining in with the foolishness? What's your position? How are you standing? As others watch how we respond to overwhelming adversity, they recognize his loving care when we're walking in him. We get to win that soul from a smile. From the way we greet somebody, how we wait on situations. I remember when our house flooded years ago, and it took over four months, and the house was tore up. It took over four months to get the check. And when the guy came, the insurance agent came, he says, I looked at your file. People are paying attention to you. I didn't see calls constantly coming in from you or write-ups complaining about anything. I said, I may have called three times in four months. In four months, he says, that's unheard of. I said, I didn't feel like complaining. I already told God. And when he got done, he says, I'm writing a check on the spot. And the check was over, the amount. I'm writing the check on the spot. I'm giving it to you today. I said, do I have to wait on it? He said, I got the ability to write the check right now. God is waiting to write your check. Come on now. Woo! The Father is waiting to write your check. Your particular check is coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. My blessings are on the way. My blessings are coming in the name of Jesus. Are you trusting him? Are you trusting him? If you obey God, Thank you, Jesus. you can expect his blessings. That's the word of God. If you trust and obey God, if you be willing and obedient, you get to eat the good of the land. We can trust his word. Huh? I want you to remember it's by choice what you do. Which way you turn to, it's by choice, he says to us. No matter what, if you walk in his will, he will bless you in surprising ways. Yeah. Nobody like our God. Yeah. Oh, nobody like our God. So you must give up. You got to give up your strength. You must get up. Mm -hmm. Decisions are required by you to get up. Uh -huh. And now you must grow up. You cannot keep walking in this walk desiring the sincere milk of the word like a baby. If you do, it's by choice. It's by choice. It's by choice. Two verses of scripture. He says to us. In Romans, I'm going to read it. It's 2 Corinthians 4, 7 to 11. A couple of verses. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels. He tells us, this vessel that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. Now you, we are troubled on every side. I want you to understand that. Yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Uh -huh. Cast down, but not destroyed. Always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest. What? In our bodies. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. For we which live are always delivered unto death. Oh, you must get up. You must get up. You must grow up. 
off. He said, the blessings of the Lord make it rich and there is no sorrow. Oh, so you got to give up, give up, and grow up, church. It's time for the church to grow up. One last word. Come on, Holy Ghost. He tells us in the word of God, over in Luke 28, 11 and 28, he puts a seal on the deal. Yes. But he said, Ye rather, blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it. You gotta hear it. You gotta keep it. Jesus. You can't come up in here and just hear it and sleep on it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lord, <laughs> you can't come up in here and hear it and walk out and say, I just got a good word for the day. You can't come up in here and hear it and just put some praise on it. Mm -hmm. And that's it. And nothing else. You got to go back and read it again for yourself. You got to pin it in your heart. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. God help me to store up the treasures of your word in my heart that they may give me life and life abundantly in the name of Jesus. When we going to pray that prayer? In the name of Jesus. I want to store up the treasures of your word in my heart, God. Lead me into a place that I didn't know about, God. While I'm in the storm, God, don't leave me. Don't leave me. While I'm in the storm, God, hold my hand, God. Oh! While I'm in the storm, God, help me to close my mouth. Oh, y'all not say, hey, help me, God, huh? Because I'm weak, God. I'm weak, I'm weak, I'm weak. I'm fragile, God. But the strip of God come now. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Uh -huh. Hey, y'all, no, 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 no. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. And I'm not talking about the material thing. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. The blessings of the Lord make it rich and add no sorrow. Oh, God, we thank you this morning. Oh, God, we bless your name. Woo, we give you glory. And we give you honor. For you are King and Lord. Jesus, how we bless you and adore. We lift up your name, God. Ha, ha. And we glorify you in this place. Oh, we glorify the name of Jesus. And we lift you up, God. I pray, I pray, I pray in the Holy Ghost for every soul that hears the word of God today. Deliverance in the atmosphere. Deliverance in their hearts. Deliverance in their minds, God. Set them free, set them free. Set the captive free. In the name of Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Set the captive free. In the name of Jesus. Restore. Call the backslider back home, God. Uh, save the unsaved, God. In the name of Jesus. Yay. Woo. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Salvation to your home. Salvation for your children. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus. We thank you for it, God. And we walk in victory. I may not see it today, but my tomorrow looks brighter than my today. And I'm thanking you for it right now, God. Hallelujah. Come on and give him some praise in this place. Come on and give him some praise in this place. Come on and give him some praise in this place, God. God, we glorify you. And we bless the name of Jesus. Oh, he is to be glorified. Oh, in the earth, we have the opportunity. Glorify the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And so we bless him today. Yeah. And we bless his name today. Woo. Let me take a pause for a moment. Yeah. Oh, God, I bless you. Oh, God, I bless you. Hallelujah. Jesus, I bless you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It's coming, it's coming. It's coming in the name of Jesus. Whatever your blessings are, they're on the way in the name of Jesus. We declare, thank you for the freedom. 
welcome to you. Uh, you can go to uh, the website sanctuarycc.com communicate with us by messenger on Facebook. Send me a personal message. Come to the sanctuary 5744 Highway 20 South and let us know and we will receive you as a member of the Sanctuary Christian Center. We'll give you a packet and the packet will have all the details about the church classes that we require of our new members as well. Uh, yeah, so if you desire to be a member, please uh, adhere to those instructions that are provided for you. Uh, and lastly, what we want to do, we want to grace God with a gift because he's always so wonderful and worthy of the praise. And so we want to take the time to, to give God an offering. We believe in tithing and offerings, and we're so grateful for our partners for this church. I stand every Sunday and say thank you, because many of our partners participate with us and they look at us every Sunday. I get personal messages from you all, and I want to say thank you. Thank you for the encouragement. Thank you for the love that you share uh, with this family. You don't have to. There are many other places that you can stop by, but you choose to come here every Sunday, and we thank God for you, and we thank God for your gift. We ask those service today if you would stand as you plan to partake in giving in this place. You can give in many ways. Dollar sign, DSCC, cash app. Givelify, PayPal. Just type in the Sanctuary Christian Center. You can mail your offerings into 5744 Highway 20 South, Covington, Georgia, 30016. Um, several ways that you can give unto the Lord. Every gift that you give is treasured in this house as we continue to do kingdom building and honoring God with the gift like never before. And so we're just so grateful for all that you do as we prepare to give. And we're going to take your offering and lift up your offerings in the church today. God, we bless you. We thank you, God. We ask that you bless the offering exponentially. In the name of Jesus, God, that you give back to us as we give to you however you desire, God. And so today, we just say thank you. Thank you for just being such a loving God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Give your gifts unto the Lord. Give and I'll give it back to you. Give and I'll give it back to you. Press down. Give and I'll give it back to you. Give and I'll give it back to you. Press down. Shaking together, running over. And we bless God this morning, and we bless him and thank him for you. Before I close out, I heard a word from the Lord. Elder Ash, do you have a word for the church today? Hallelujah. And now we're going to move on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to move forward, and then we're going to prepare to close out. Stand everybody with me. Amen. Hallelujah. God, we bless you, we honor you, thank you for just being God. Be with us through the week and strengthen us, God. We don't know what is ahead of us. <laughs> but help us to be vessels and soldiers in whatever comes, God. Hallelujah. And we trust you by faith, God. And we thank you for the victory before we even get there. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh, God, encourage the hearts today. Encourage the people of God through the word of God that we may be restored and renewed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you all. We love you. God bless you all.